Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. It is now time for the next preliminary game of the day. This is going to be UNT Batcave versus Better Than Bad. Now, going into this, personally, this is going to be another Elias match, which I'm happy about. But personally, I want to see... No Mercy this time, if I'm entirely honest on the stream. You know, Mercy works for payload maps doesn't necessarily work as well for King of the Hill. Like, you can't force a square peg into a round hole. Especially if the round hole is trying to kill you. I'm actually surprised with uh, looking at the team compositions, you know, they haven't fully locked in yet. They're still getting ready. There's no Roadhog on either of these teams. And Roadhog is kind of one of the ones that's, I want to say, synergistic with this map just because it has the pit mm. of death in the middle. It has that you can hook them make them fall down there and get a free kill early on if you position yourself correctly. But I do like the fact that both teams seem to be hovering over and going for a Winston, which is going to allow them with that ultimate to do the kind of the same thing as long as they can aim it correctly. It could provide them some relatively good team fights. This is going to be a very interesting match between the two. So as we get ready to observe what's going on on the midpoint, we are going to be seeing a Farah pick by UNT Batcave. That's going to give them some nice suppressive power. There are many shields on both teams, but the Reinhardt plus Winston combination on the side of Better Than Bad is definitely going to be something that the Farah is going to have to overcome to actually do significant damage. They do have a Genji being played by Died, and it's going to be really interesting. So far, he hasn't been going for the backline, but he has been getting some good DPS down, going really hard on getting this Reinhardt, and is going to be able to find the kill and continue his push forward, but it's not going to last long for him. Yeah, bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen, Farah was recently buffed, so she is going to be able to keep herself up in the air for significantly longer periods of time before having to actually touch the floor. And because of that, Farah rains death from the sky, and Jesus Milk, with the help of his team, is going to be able to get the point first for UNT Batcave. Now having control of it, UNT Batcave really are going to be looking for heavy defense, and that's kind of why we see them sitting over in one corner of the map. The double shield composition is still working for them, although they're both going to get busted through, as now we see Winston going deep, and Bradford Love and Jesus Music are both going to fall down. We see Luck going as hard as he can, trying to just zone them out and allow his team to that's capture this point. That's going to be a capture in favor of better than bad. They're going to be able to try and hold off the majority of UNT Batcave from what they can. And more importantly, try and build some ultimate charge for the next upcoming engagement. We haven't actually seen any ultimates popped until now. Multiple ultimates going off, including a tactical visor. Now we actually see an Earthshaker miss, but he does get the dash. Pins up Roy Boy into the wall, does find the kill. And right now, it is looking like Better Than Bad are going to have a really good control of the map. Every single person that is coming in from UNT Batcave, they're coming in one by one, and they're falling. They need to regroup as a team because they're just not going to be able to break in otherwise. That's unfortunate. Fear Surge's uh, tactical visor, unfortunately, was majority... I guess stuffed because he couldn't actually shoot anyone they were pushed back so far and you can't kill anyone if there's no one to actually shoot once again it's just looking really relatively bad right now for the UNT Batcave because they haven't been able to get past this single corner there are multiple routes into the point though I'd like to see them try to go around here and it looks like they may be turning their they may have heard in you. that direction. They are going to go ahead and group up and turn over here. It's still a little bit of a choke point, and we're going to see we have Genji, we have Winston over here trying to defend it as much as they can. The shields are getting broken down, and that's going to be a double kill for Fox Rocks as he is just eating through. He finds a third, and that is going to be a bodies. White. UNT Batcave are gone. Fox Rocks just laying bodies everywhere in the alleyway getting shades over the hero animation but i want to see how unt batcave can bounce back 85 percent left on the clock for capture they need this push to actually fully do this but so far the back line of better than bad is going to be a real problem especially with a boosted tactical visor no less and we're going to see Broy Boy went as far as he could, but it just wasn't enough. Fox Rocks, again, doing all of the work for his team, making the bodies hit the floor, and that is going to be a relatively easy capture. It looks like UNT Batcave had the opportunity there. That last team fight almost went in their direction, but like you had said, the boosted tactical visor is just too strong for them. They didn't know what they Ooh. wanted to do, and as a result, they ended up falling. It's going to be floor tan for better than bad getting play of the game. Let's see what happens here. I believe this was a earth shadow play. Yeah, charges in, no shields up, which means skadoosh? Question mark. There we go. 
That was going to be set up, just pure and utter setup for his team to rain death down the alleyway. Nowhere for UNT back to actually go. So that will go in the way of better than bad. They'll take that seeding match, that preliminary. Ladies and gentlemen, we are creeping closer and closer to the full brackets, the full double elimination to begin. This is just the seeding stuff, so we've got a while to go with us. Ladies and gentlemen, stick with us. This is the second stream for the Java Gaming Cafe Overwatch Tournament. Don't go anywhere.